today's video is going to be my September favourites. Now, yes, I am in a different location. I'm at my grand's at the moment. I'm staying here for a few days. I thought, oh gosh, I need to have my September favourites um, as it is already the 4th of October. So I thought I'd better film them now. So I am and I'm filming here. So yeah, I'm just going to get cracking. So I'm going to start off with some beauty things. A lot of these things you may have seen um, in a previous haul, but honestly, I've been absolutely loving all the things that I'm showing you today. So, um, I'll start off with base. Um, I've absolutely been loving the Big Easy um, Better Than BB from Benefit. This one's in 04 medium. It looks like this. And it's basically like a tinted moisturiser, really light foundation. You can build it up um, slightly, but it's pretty much you're just going to be getting a light coverage. Now, it's actually been quite warm in the UK. Um, we've almost had like an Indian summer. Um, so it means that the sun's been out quite a lot. Well, not today, but it has been out. And it means that I haven't really been wearing as much coverage as usual. So this has been um, a really, really good go-to um, foundation at the moment so yeah I haven't really been using it the last week because the weather has changed slightly and I have been going for a bit of a higher coverage which I'll show you now but this one has been like from the end of August sort of or when did I buy this like September time like start of September um, I've been pretty much using it ever since and um, now I've started college um, I've pretty much used this like every day so yeah, that's been a really good one. Um, to be honest though, I don't know whether I would repurchase this because it is quite expensive. Um, I can't remember, I think it's something like £27 something. And for a light foundation, I just don't think I would spend that again. It's a nice um, one, I would definitely recommend it, but I just don't know whether I'd repurchase it. Not anytime soon anyway, maybe when it comes summer again, but we'll see. But yeah, I've been enjoying it for now. The other foundation that you may have seen me go on about before is my MAC to do fix fluid. This one's in NW15. Now, as I've said, it's been still quite warm recently, but now it's starting to get a little bit cold, a little bit more autumnal, and I've been going for a little bit of a higher coverage. I've actually sometimes mixed these two together. Um, so I've kind of put this one on as a base and then a bit of this one on top mixed in with it. Um, which has actually been quite nice. Um, definitely, oh, I just love this foundation. It's a medium to high coverage, pretty high coverage on my skin today. Um, I just love it. <laughs> Basically, I love it. Definitely, definitely, definitely recommend this one. And it's cheaper than the Benefit one as well. I think this one's £21.50, I think. And I definitely prefer this over any other foundation that I've tried. So... Yeah, and definitely going to be a staple throughout the winter months as well, I think. So, yes, been liking that foundation. Okay, also from Benefit is the Majorette Blush. Now, I didn't think I would like this as much as I do. Um, it's a cream blush, looks like this. And it's just, I'll try and do a swatch for you. Oh, it's just the right colour. Looks like that. Hang on, let me do a quick. There we go, you'll be able to see that. Um, it's just a really, really nice cream blusher. And the great thing about it is you can wear it sheer or you can build it up to you know, a nice bit of colour on your cheeks. I normally just put a little bit on just to create just a nice flush on my cheeks, basically. It also smells amazing. It's just, I think it suits a lot of people. I think this is why so many people have raved about it. And it doesn't, some cream blushes on me, um, I've tried a couple and they just seem to sort of settle on my skin and they just haven't looked great. But this one, I don't know what it is, <laughs> but it, it works. It works, basically. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else I can say about this other than I really like it. And even if you just go in and try a bit, just try it. No harm in trying. Um, love it. Okay, so the last base product that I have is the Kick-Ass Powder from Silk and Glory. This is the Instant Retouch Press Powder. And as you can probably see, I've used a lot of this. Da -da -da, there you go. Um, yeah, I've been absolutely loving this powder. My favourite ever powder that I used to use was the Rimmel... Stay Matte, I think it's called. 
Um, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to try something different, you know, just see what's out there. And I absolutely love the Kick-Ass Concealer, so I thought, oh, why not try the powder? And as you can see, I've just been loving it. I like it because it's not too heavy, and I don't get oily skin, um, so I don't really need to powder my skin. I like to just powder it so my foundation stays in place, and everything just sort of seems to set. Um, this is why I think I like it because it's not heavy, it doesn't look cakey on my skin, it doesn't like settle, you know, like in dry areas or anything, it just, it looks really nice and yeah, and it also stays in place all day and it comes with a big mirror which I like, um, so yeah, I'm probably going to have to repurchase that sometime soon, so that's what I've been liking. Now I never actually know we mentioned makeup brushes but I thought I would because I mentioned the base products I thought I'd show you what brushes I've been using so um, if you've seen my Real Techniques review I'll put them below if you want to go and watch that you all know that I love Real Techniques brushes so I've been using these two they are the same brush yes I've got two different brushes when I use the foundation when I use the powder I think um, which one this one I use for foundation this one I use for powder um, I got two because one came in the core collection set and one I got free when I met um, Sam and Nick when I bought a brush. Um, if you want to know I Oh, why do I ramble on? <laughs> anyway, yeah, I've really loved using the Bath & Brush with, it works with any foundation, particularly my um, Benefit one and my MAC one. And then um, the other brush just works really well with the Kick-Ass powder and any powder really. Um, I think it just seems to blend in really nicely, and yeah. And for the majorette blush, I've been using the Real Techniques Stippling Brush, which you probably wouldn't normally think of using for blusher. Um, you would think to use this for foundation or anything like powder. Um, but no, I think it works really, really well. So you just get it and just sort of stiff it in like that, and then just sort of pop a little bit on like that and stipple it on. Um, I think because the bristles are synthetic, I think it just really picks up the product well. Um, but it allows you, um, if you are heavy handed, then don't worry because you can just put it on lightly. Um, you can also blend it as well. So yeah, I'd be loving this brush for that. Okay, now on to eyes. So the most obvious one, let me get it, that I can tell you about for eyes is, of course, yes, my naked palette. <laughs> What more can I say about this? I absolutely love it. Um, I'm so, so glad and happy that I got this for my birthday. It honestly is the best palette I've ever used in my life. Like, look. Ah. Um, yeah, I just love this. The colours I've mainly been using, and I need to try out, I actually haven't used like a couple of them, like Gun Metal and Creep, these last two here. I actually haven't used, whoop, the brush fell out. Um, I actually haven't used those, um, which I probably should, I've just been, for every day, like going to college, like I have them on today, I've been using, um, first one I've been using is Smog, which is this one here, it's just like a nice um, glittery kind of gold colour, and then Hustle, which is this one here, <laughs> have you about to see, um, which is just a kind of warmish brown um, taupey colour, and also a little bit of dark horse, which is this dark brown up there. Um, and those three I've just been loving together. I don't know what it is, but yeah, they're just been my like go-to over the last um, month, really. Absolutely been loving this. Um, let me know if you've tried um, any of the Naked palettes. Um, there's the Naked 1, this one, Naked 2, Naked 3, and the Naked Basics, which I also have, which to be honest, I don't use that much. I think there's a Naked 2 Basics either out or coming out soon. Um, so let me know if you've tried any and if you like them, if any of them are your favourites. Just, yeah, let me know. Okay, another thing from Urban Decay is the um, Subversion um, Lash Primer and the Perversion Mascara, which they come together. Oh gosh. I know this is quite a big statement to make. So, just bear with me, but I actually think this could be my favourite ever mascara. That is a massive statement for me to make. The amount of mascaras that I've tried, 
Um, I still do love my YSL Baby Doll Mascara. Don't get me wrong, it's still like pretty much my number one mascara. But these could be like on par with each other, I think. Seriously, I love it. Basically, the primer, it's like fibres, but it looks white. Hopefully, you'll be able to see this. Um, and you put it on your lashes, and you'll be thinking, oh my god, I got white lashes. Don't panic, wait for that to dry, and then apply the mascara on top, which looks like it's quite a big brush. Looks like that. And I've never seen my lashes look so long and have so much volume. Um, if you're not a fan of big, bold lashes, probably not for you. If you prefer more natural lashes, not the best. But if you do like those big false lashes, definitely recommend this video. You can also layer it up as well to create even bigger lashes. And without any clumps as well, I haven't noticed um, any clumps. It's long lasting. I haven't seen any flakiness. Big thumbs up for me for these two. So yeah, I also tried the primer with a different mascara and it seemed to work. Like, I don't know what it is. I think it just makes them... I don't know, it says on here, thicker, longer and stronger. To be honest, I think they are a little bit thicker and longer. Don't know about stronger, but <laughs> um, yeah. And I also tried um, just the mascara that's on one eye and the primer the mascara and you could definitely, definitely notice the difference. So yeah, been liking these two. On to lips. My first one I have is the Maybelline Baby Lips in Hydrate. Now, <laughs> you'll probably be able to see, that's all that's left. You know I love this probably, it's the best balm I've ever found um, and it's so cheap, it's like £2 something for this and I probably bought this about a year ago, maybe longer and I pretty much use this every single day, it's so good, It they save my lips, the baby lips, seriously they do. Um, often when the weather sort of changes like from going warm to cold or cold to warm, my lips always just seem to like really dry and horrible so this I've been like applying every single day and they've been good so far so keep it up lips and I think I'm gonna have to repurchase this pretty soon because it's running out. So as I said before it's been quite warm throughout the month of September so I've been pretty much using all my summer things so I've been loving my Good Kisser um, lipstick from MAC which is a matte lipstick I'll show you. Um, yeah, the reason I think I like this so much is because it is matte, because to be honest I don't have a lot of matte lipsticks, um, it's not really something I normally go for, but this one I've just been really liking. Um, it's from the, what's it called, something romance, a novel romance I think it's called, I don't know whether it's still available, it might not be because I did get this about a month ago so I'm not entirely sure. But if you can still get it, I would definitely recommend looking at that range as well. Like they've probably got a new collection out already, I don't know. But <laughs> I like this colour, basically. Um, yeah, I've been kind of trying to use my pink lipsticks because I know, like today I'm wearing a red one. If you're wondering what my red lipstick is, um, I've been loving, hang on, let me get it for you. It's my Ruby Ru lipstick from MAC, the retro matte one. This one was the Rihanna one that came out... October last year, I think this time last year. Um, I, uh, it's just the best red lipstick I've ever used. I love it so much. And to be honest, I haven't really been wearing this throughout September, but it's going to be a staple throughout from now till about January, I would say. Yeah, you're going to see me wearing this a lot of videos, pretty much. And look, just, oh. Uh, Okay, so I have one more kind of beauty favourite, which is a nail varnish. Now, I have been loving my Tiny Bear um, nail polish in, um, what's it called? Be Bright, Be Happy, Be You, and it's just a gorgeous hot pink. But I didn't bring it with me, but I did want to put it in my favourite, so I'm going to give that an honourable mention because I have been loving that. And to be honest, when I paint my nails, I don't normally take it off and then reapply the same nail polish, but that one I have literally like three times. It shows I like a nail polish when I do that. So I'm loving that. And I want to look um, a few more of Tiny products because um, I really, really want some more like purples and reds for um, autumn, winter and some more lip glosses as well. So yeah, that's that one. Um, but I thought I'd give this one an honourable, uh, on 
the an honourable mention as well. This is my French Connection L polish. I think I had a set of these for Christmas. And yeah, so what I'm wearing at the moment looks like this from the seat on my nails. I probably didn't paint them very well, but that's what it looks like. And it's just a really nice purple, um, like deep kind of almost berry kind of I don't know. It's just a really nice colour. Um I have quite a few of these which I've been trying out and to be honest, they are really, really nice. Like I painted these a couple of days ago and I have seen no chips at all. Um yeah, really liking this at the moment. Now on to some random favourites. So YouTuber of the month for me has to be Zoe and Alfie. Selfie. First of all, obviously their main channel videos I love, but they've also been vlogging so much and so is Tanya and Jim, Marcus, anyone else I can think of? Yeah, but they've been the main ones that I've been absolutely loving this month or throughout September as it is October now. Um, I've just been loving them so much and blogger of the month has to go to, it's between two, it's Zoe, because I just love Zoe, plus she has her beauty range out. Oh my god, so getting some of that very soon, probably tomorrow. Um, and I've been reading a whole post about that and stuff like that. Um, and also um, a lady called Kyla from Miss Budget Beauty. She makes videos and she has a blog and I'll link them below um, along with everyone else I've mentioned. Um, yeah, I've been really enjoying reading her blog posts and watching her videos too and her vlogs. She was vlogging throughout August and I really love those. Obviously been loving the pointless book. Um, if you see my last video which is my vlog you will probably know that yeah I really <laughs> I'm so proud of Alfie for creating this just and Zoe with her beauty range and Tanya and Pixie Boo with her brushes. Um, yeah I just feel I don't know proud I guess um, but I've been loving doing this and yeah, I might do a haul video, like I did a bit in my last vlog, but I think I might do a haul video maybe with my friends. We could have a go at doing some of the things in this book. But obviously I've been loving this, and this is like the only book that I've been loving throughout September. So that's that one. And finally, Song of the Month has to be um, All About That Bass by Megan Trainer. I've just been absolutely loving it. I don't know why. Um, I think it's just a really nice message, and I think it's just a really catchy tune. Yeah. So yeah, that is it for this video guys, hope you enjoyed, please let me know some video requests below if you want me to film anything in particular. I will be doing a autumn slash winter look book, I just need to kind of get everything together, get the locations and stuff like that, and it should be with you in the next month, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in my next video, bye! This picks up the product really well. Oh, I just got a load of not on me. Do I have? Okay, we'll just wipe that. I now have blush up favor. Great. Um, <laughs> because I mentioned this in my last haul, it's just a really nice pink matte color. Good description, Beth. Pink matte color. <sighs> Oh. <laughs> Isn't this just the most exciting thing ever? Oh my god! Okay, look, can I put that is insane! Like, look, it's Alfie! Like, the most craziest thing.